everyone, today I'm going to talk about my favourite hair care products. I am just going to quickly mention at the start of this video that I already have a video on how to maintain and get this platinum blonde hair, so I will not be talking about anything that will brighten your hair, shampoos, conditioners or anything that I mentioned in a previous video. If you're interested in knowing a little bit more about that, please check out my how to maintain platinum blonde hair video. So I'm just going to jump off by saying that I have pretty much tried every single product that is on the market for blonde hair. I have tried every single product that's on the market for dry hair. I know that that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I feel like I have tried absolutely everything. I also feel that there's a lot of products on the market that have a huge amount of hype and, of course, a premium price tag attached to that hype for products that say they will deliver the world, but in actual fact don't really deliver anything near what they say they will. I have previously bought really high-end premium products to put moisture into my hair, to condition my hair, everything like that. And I'm not saying that your hair is somewhere that you should skimp. You should definitely invest in good shampoos and good conditioners, things that will maintain your hair. But if you find something that works for you and it's maybe a little bit more lower end, it doesn't mean that it's any better or it's any worse than anything that's full or even more than that of the price. I don't think the price tag necessarily reflects the product. The minute I have gone a little bit less high-end, I'm going to make this video on things that you can pick up for reasonably cheap. You can pick them up from the likes of supermarkets, you can pick them up in a lot of different places and it's not going to cost you a lot of money. I know, especially myself being blonde, I invest a lot of money and a lot of time in maintaining my hair. I don't want to be going to the salon, paying to get my hair done and then still paying premium price tag on products that aren't really going to deliver anything different. I don't believe the hype surrounding a lot of products until I've tried them for myself. Everybody's different and I think hair care is like skincare. It's a very individual thing. If you find something that works for you, I say definitely stick with it. After saying all that, I'm gonna jump into my first product. And that is a deep conditioner. I think deep conditioners are really, really important, especially in the summertime. In such blonde hair, as I keep on mentioning, this would be the highest lift you could achieve. There's basically no pigment left in my hair at all, which gives it this really white color. It's really important to put all the nutrients back into the hair. That doesn't mean that you have to go and you have to buy every single tablet you can get from health food stores, every single premium product you can find to put nutrients back into blonde hair. That just simply means finding something that you think moisturizes your hair and it works well for you. In my case, it's something that I found in Asda. I know, not exactly what you would think of for hair care, and that is by Andrew Barton. It looks like this. And it's called SOS Help Me While You Sleep Extreme Repair Mask. I'll just read what it says on the back. It says, shampoo and condition as normal, rinse and towel dry, apply a generous amount of this rich creamy formula all over the hair and comb through to the ends. Rough dry and leave in overnight as you sleep and dream. Rinse with warm water in the morning and style as usual. That is exactly what I do. I usually pop my hair up in a towel as soon as I get out of the shower. I don't rough dry it as I think that that's just extra breakage that I don't really need. Popping it up in a towel while I apply my body lotion or I apply my fake tan in most cases just gives it time for the moisture to really soak in. And by the time I've done everything else I need to and I take the towel down, it's already towel dried. What I do is I would apply this in sections. I would section my hair off in one, two, and then finally the third, which is the, the top part of my hair sections. I would apply a really thick, generous amount. This really reminds me of a body butter. It's in the same sort of tub as a body butter, and it is so thick and so creamy. If you can see how thick and how creamy that is, it is not a runny substance at all. What I do is I put that through and I pop it up in a... Are they called alligator clips? One of those clips right at the top of my head. And I usually pop a towel over my pillow just in case any residue was to get on my pillow. And I go to sleep in the morning. As it says, I simply rinse it through with warm water. It does come out really easily. It usually dries actually quite quickly in my hair. So I don't find that it comes off quite a lot on the towel while I sleep. Usually when I wash it off in the mornings, my hair is nice and silky and nice and soft. You can pay a really premium price for a deep conditioner. I personally think this one works just as well as any of the higher end brands that I've tried and it's about a quarter of the price. Simply means for me, when I buy something a bit more premium, I want it to last as long as possible. I would a little more sparingly perhaps, which isn't the best thing. You wanna get as much product on there as possible and you wanna really, really condition your hair. With something like this, I know I can repurchase this. I think this is the third one of these I've had and it's no problem. Problem repurchasing it as it's not going to break the bank. It's a really nice fragrance too as well. It's sort of a coconutty. It reminds me of the summertime, of Malibu, of things like that. So if you like that sort of fragrance, definitely try out Andrew Barton if you're next in Asda. The red, I know we're all for dry damaged hair, so I assume they all smell of this coconutty fragrance. Definitely even pop down when you're next in Asda and have a look at some of the products they've got in there. They've got some really great stuff you might not necessarily think of and definitely 
have a smell because if you like coconut like me, you will fall in love with this. Definitely something I would repurchase over and over again and something that I will recommend. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is something that I know is raved about quite a lot. I still like these products. This is the only this is the only one out of this range of products that I actually have, and that's by Aussie, and it's luscious long, I wish, leave-in conditioner, and it looks like this. This actually acts as a detangler as well. So on the day when I'm not using my deep conditioning treatment, I will pop my hair up in a towel, like I said, do my fake tan or whatever. Then when I take it out of the towel, it's roughly towel dried. I will do a couple of sprays of this, mainly concentrating on the ends of my hair where, where it needs the leave-in conditioner the most, and then I will comb it through. I don't comb it or I don't brush it before I pop this in. I just think it's unnecessary damage. There's no problems with combing it through after this. Really out of this product, and I've been really impressed with what it's been doing to my hair. I think that it is leaving it nice and soft and it's given me a really good leave-in condition. I think that it's important to have a leave-in conditioner just because of the everyday stresses and strains that we all go through and our hair goes through that with us. So I think it's really important to to leave something in there that you know is doing good while you're out and about. The next thing I'll do is once I've combed that through I will put on my heat protectant spray. At the moment I'm using Tresemme so it looks like this. This is actually a heat protectant up to 230 degrees, which I think is really good. A lot of straighteners go up quite high and you can never be quite sure how high your, ha your hair dryer is going up, so it's really important to get a high protectant heat. I really like this one. I've been using this for quite a while. I really enjoy it, although I don't, as much as you can enjoy uh, heat defense spray, I suppose. But as I've said in quite a lot of videos before, I don't blow dry my hair and I do not straighten it very often. I mean, today it's pretty much straight. And I haven't done anything to it at all apart from clipping my extensions. The only thing that I will say about a heat protectant is I think it's really important. A lot of people, well I don't know if a lot of people are like me, a lot of my friends think I'm really weird but I'm a really cool blooded person. I'm always cold, I'm always sat beside an open fire if there is one, I always have the heat on, I'm always beside a radiator, things like that. Definitely you have to think about as heat on your hair. Although it's not directly on your hair, it can still cause heat damage. So although you think you're treating your hair really nicely, it's still important for heat defense spray for things like that. The next thing I'll mention is something that I know is very bad and you shouldn't do anyway, but that's sunbeds. If you go on quite a few sunbeds or even if you're going on a sunbed here and there, it's important to pop in a heat defense spray the UV rays still get through to the hair particles, still cause heat, dam heat damage. Of all, heat defense is really important whether you heat style your hair or not. It's just a really important thing to pop in there. So yeah. Oh. God. The other thing I will say about this is the nozzle. I really like the nozzle on this. I don't know if it's to do with the bottle or it is actually the nozzle, but it's sort of a lot of sprays spray out in a straight line motion as in the product just goes straight to the spot that you aim it at. This actually goes out, you probably won't be able to say, so there's no point in me spraying it. This goes out in a fan type motion, so you really cover quite a large area with this. Um, I really like that, it means you use less of the product and it goes on more evenly. I find that when I pop this in my hair, I don't feel any residue, I don't feel anything like that, so it's a really good light formulation. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is something that I really like and that's by Batiste and that is the dry shampoo. As you can see there, that's the XL Volume Big and Bouncy Hair. I do really like, that's just a demo. <laughs> I do really like big and bouncy hair. I'm sure, like a lot of you, I like as much volume as possible in my hair. So I was really pleased when I seen this. I love the Batiste range anyway. As you all know, I wear hair, hair extensions. Sometimes I find if I've been out on a night out in a smoking area or around family members who smoke, anything like that, or you yourself smoke, you can find that your hair gets that sort of smoky smell that you can't get it out. Unlike your natural hair, your everyday normal natural hair, your extensions you don't wash as often. So I find it's really good to just pop in a bit of dry shampoo all the way through your extensions before you put them in. It livens them up and it takes that nasty smell out of them as well. So I definitely use it for that. The next thing I use it for is, of course, my roots. Just pop it through my roots, give it a shake through, big and bouncy, there we go, and that's exactly what I do. The thing about this is, I will say, I haven't actually, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll definitely be able to hear it. Of course, there has to be some traffic outside right when I'm trying to do it, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to use this. Nothing's coming out. I have, I've pulled this um, thingy, off and I put pin down there and I just can't figure out what's blocking it. I kind of want to take it back and tell them but then I know I'm never going to do it. I'll probably just end up buying another one but yeah I really am enjoying that. I really do want to try the Big and Bouncy XXL Volume 1 but I haven't been able to yet but I'm a big fan. I usually buy the blue flavour or scent colour. 
the blue one I like that one the best but I thought I would try this for the volume aspect but I haven't been able to try that yet so if any of you know a way of getting this unblocked please let me know it's kind of annoying the last thing I'm going to talk about is something that I talked about in a previous video and it's something that I really like. One of my friends actually got me on this quite a long time ago and when we were all going out together we would all meet up and get ready together as girls do. That's the most fun part I think anyway. And her room would literally just be covered in white dust whenever we would leave and it would be because of this. This is the Johnson's Baby Powder. We were all blonde and we were having the blonde wars. Who could be the blondest? This was before I actually got my hair bleached when I was just getting highlights. So I would absolutely key in this. I would, people would, it, people would pat me on the head and a puff of smoke would come out. I'm not saying that it's good to have that, that much in there. It's obviously, that, that's not good for your hair. It really does dry your hair out. But if you don't have a dry shampoo and you have one of these to handy, it's really good. You can get the little tiny ones for 99p in boots, the travel size ones, pop it in your handbag if you ever need a refresh if you ever need a refresh there we go <laughs> if you ever need a refresh put a little bit of that on it adds volume it's a really nice smell and it's just acts as a dry shampoo really nice and really clean so I definitely recommend that I have been using the Moroccan oil most recently I'm not going to talk about that I know there's loads and loads and loads of um, blogs and YouTube videos and everything like that on it so I don't want to concentrate on that really too much typical my phone has to ring but as i was saying i don't want to concentrate on the moroccan oil too much as in, i know there's a lot of information already available about that product so that really concludes everything i do for my hair care all the products i'm using at the minute if you'd like to recommend anything that you think i would like please leave me a comment below also follow me on twitter there's a lot of random updates your tweets really do make my day so anything you want to tweet me please feel absolutely free i love to get random tweets as i am quite a random reminder Myself. Also, I just like to say one last thing. Three days. <laughs> I know you're probably saying, Kira, get over it, you're so sad. But three days till my birthday, I am so, so excited. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks so much for sub subscribing. It really, really makes my day when you all subscribe and you leave me lovely comments. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.